Hello, welcome to this episode of Auto Tutorials by Level Nation Studios. My name is Lydia, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can conform your UV to an existing texture that wasn't designed for that um, character. Let's get started. So we'll use this character for this um, exercise and we want to confirm the UV from this character here. Noah, this is a gene uh, texture. We want to confirm it to this character's pants. So um, I've already done one before this video, so let me just add that gene. So I've been able to confirm it from this to this. So we're going to do it all over again in this video. So let me just remove this. And the first thing you need to do is add a new material and Ctrl T. If you have node wingler on, just do Ctrl T, then open the image. So just go up. Just look for the texture in your system. And now this is what we have. Is the, the UV is obviously different from, um, see, obviously different from the one that came with the texture. So now to confirm, the first thing you need to do is, you need to make sure we don't overwrite our UV. So this is the UV that the original material has, and this is the UV I did for the first gene I showed. They were going to create a new one, UV, Gene, gene O2. So as far as this is selected, anything you do, okay, let me just, let's copy from this. So plus, yeah, because this was selected, the new one I created has that same UV, but since I went to the first one, the new one I created has the first one's UV. So let me rename this to gene, gene, O2. So now, yeah, we have this rough texture. So another thing to do is go back to the shading. The UV, by default, when you add this, it's going to use the first UV. So if you wanted to use the third one, which is what we have here, UV map gene O2, just go to add, you search for UV, UV map, then you add this instead. So just choose whichever UV you want to use. So Gino two. So now we we'll go back to the UV editing and we start reshaping. So just select L to select this island. L to select this, L to select this. So I'm gonna select this first one and start reshaping it and conforming it to this. So L to select this and move it here, select this. Move it here and select this. Move it here. Select this. Move it here. So we have everything in their rough positioning. Now we need to just move the vertices around a little bit just to conform it well and make it look, look good. So we'll start with the first one. Just select one of the vertex, make sure you're in the vertex mode, select and G to start moving. So make sure you have this um, proportional editing on, but I think by default it's off, this is what you have. So when you have it on, you can start moving your UV around. So just select this, move it, move. To reduce the radius of your shape, you just scroll out, and scroll in. Just use your scroll wheel to do that in and out. So you can just position things around. Move it. Move. So another thing you should note is if this is on, sync is on, and you try to move, it's going to affect the neighboring islands to, to work with only connected only. If you check on that, see what is happening. So make sure you turn this off and just use this method. 
So just continue. So, so I want this nail to be somewhere around here. That is where a nail is. So I think I should even start with that. So just so my speed is up. Or not. <laughs> so let's say we are done with the first part. It's looking rough here, so I can try to just hide this, the overlay, then you so I can see how things are moving around. So, yeah, we are done with the first part. Now to the second part. We start with the nail. Somewhere here. Then we can start moving other parts around. Move this. Start with the broad movement first. Then you go in and do the fine tuning. So I'm just going to do the front and you can apply the same thing to the back. So I'm almost done. So I'm looking at the uh, viewport to see what I have there. So just click and G to move, G, then scroll to increase it and reduce it. So so I'm done with the front and you can just apply the same principle to the back. So if I go back to the first one I did, so Jane. I was able to finish the back and front. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video. Subscribe to Level Nation Studios if you've not done so. And until next time, stay true to your creativity. Bye-bye.